A few weeks ago, I went on a trip with my school. We visited a few museums while we were away, so we had to spend a few nights at a hotel. It was bound to be just another boring experience, but I guess that wasn't really the case. When we got back to the hotel on the first night, I met Nicole, who was from another school that was visiting the same museums as us. She introduced me to some of her friends, and we got along pretty good. So, we decided to meet again in the morning. After a couple of hours, I went back to my room and got ready for bed. It was almost midnight, and as I was brushing my teeth in the bathroom, I could hear the girls laughing. So, I put my ear against the wall and listened. It sounded like Nicole and her friends were giggling and talking. I assumed it was some gossip about the other girls and... something, and I just decided to go to sleep. The following day, I met up with Nicole and the crew. I asked her about the previous night, and she said that they were playing the Bloody Mary Truth or Dare game. It's just like playing Truth or Dare by spinning a bottle, but there's a twist, she said. Basically, if you choose truth, then you have to admit that you're scared of Bloody Mary. Otherwise, you have, otherwise you're dared to go grab the lantern and say Bloody Mary three times while staring at yourself in the mirror with the lights off. It's said if you complete those steps, then Bloody Mary will come and take your soul. Another rule was to record yourself with a camera or phone to prove that you were looking straight into the mirror when doing the so-called ritual. I laughed at it and asked if I could join. They said I could come to her room around midnight and play with them. After another exhausting museum tour, it was finally time for the game. I changed clothes as fast as I could and rushed to Nicole's room. After a few turns and scaring some of the girls, it was my turn to take the lantern to the bathroom. Slowly I said the name twice without any hesitation. However, when I was about to say it the third time, a cold chill went down my spine. I almost turned on the light, but then I heard Nicole calling me a chicken. And I just shouted Bloody Mary as loud as I could. To nobody's surprise, nothing happened. And we just carried on with the game before going to sleep. Two nights have passed since then. I now gathered my friends in my house to play the game. Some of my friends are pretty scared, but they're too proud to admit it. I think we're going to hear some screams tonight. I'm first, and I wonder if anybody will try to scare me. I enter the bathroom and turn off the lights. I proceed to say the name three times. After a few seconds, I hear my friend shouting that they didn't hear it the third time. So, I just say it again three times. During that moment of silence, I notice a figure behind the shower curtain. It looks a bit like my sister. I bet she's trying to scare me. The girls waited about five minutes before going in to check on the friend. They turned on the light and she wasn't there. But the window was open and they all left and thought that she ran away to scare them. Her sister picked up the phone and watched the recording. After the sixth Bloody Mary, a dark silhouette of a girl could be seen getting closer to the mirror. As she got closer, a dark red tear like little mokes could be seen on her face. A couple seconds later, the phone just turned itself off. And so did the lights.